Okay, I'm uh, joined here at the Oval with Brendan from the IPIA. Um, often Brendan's the other side of the camera interviewing people, so today I had the lovely job of asking him some questions for once. Brendan, thanks for coming. Um, first question I'd like to ask you is, what does automation mean to you personally? Um, I think for me, having visited so many members' businesses, been inside so many print businesses over the years, the one thing that actually really upsets me is when I see business owners, production teams tearing their hair out. Um, you know, I've, I've seen it firsthand where you've got someone who's desperately trying to get a job out. And because there's so many manual processes involved in making that job happen, and something's gone wrong somewhere in the chain, and they're now trying to unpick it, and the press isn't running, and the team are getting stressed, and the director's getting stressed, automation to me is solving that stress. It's taking that that error out of the equation it's being able to make it trackable so that even if there is something that happens you can see exactly where in the chain that's happened and fix it quickly so that you don't have that level of stress and you can get back to productivity uh, and making money for your business ultimately so yeah that's a great answer um what have you seen today here at the oval and just give me say two two highlights that you've seen in this morning's session um i think the first highlight uh was understanding how I was sitting next to a gentleman who runs a very, very large uh, commercial print business and how the problems that and the challenges he's facing and the opportunities he's trying to seize are the same as very small print businesses that they're, they're just, you know, multiplied many fold. Um, and to hear his enthusiasm after one of your first talks that helped him join up the dots and understand how he could maybe now solve two or three of those critical problems and see some extra opportunity that he's currently had on the back burner because he hasn't been confident enough with those key clients to say, yes, we can do that project. He now feels that there are some things that he heard today that might be able to solve him for him, uh, solve that for him. Uh, and the second thing I think was just nice to hear the panel discussion um, and how honest your customers were being on stage. Yeah, your, your, your customer panel debate um, and how honest they were being. And, and also just how, again, automation and bringing all these different pieces together has been transformational for their business um, and they were happy they're here today they're happy they look relaxed they don't look stressed and they're making money and they're being productive and i think that was fantastic brilliant that's good feedback thank you um as a pillar of the print community brendan <laughs> i won't say guru I say pillar as a pillar as a print community um what's the biggest takeaway you'll leave with today when you depart the oval do you know, I think genuinely it is that um, a lot of people outside print, and it's something that we at the Independent Print Industry Association work very hard on, very down on print. And for a long time, uh, there was a lot of sort of doom and gloom. You come out to events like this and people were down, people were upset, you know, not really seeing the future and what's going on. I think the biggest takeaway for me was that there's been a bit of a sea change. And I don't know why that's happened, but positivity. There's a lot of positivity. There's a lot of people going, right, things might be difficult, but I've got a plan. I want to make it happen. I'm out here today doing research, finding things out to help my business, to move it forward. Um, and just that positivity in itself, that forward momentum, is very, very good to see for our industry. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you for joining us today as well. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.